Hey everyone. So I hear about libertarians complaining about how Gary Johnson's not libertarian enough. Right? You've probably heard it too. I, I have my own issues with some of Gary's positions, but let's be honest with ourselves. Is Gary Johnson the perfect libertarian? No, right? Are any of us perfect libertarians? Well, I'm sure there are some of us that are, but most of our most of us aren't, right? So here's the most important question. Actually, three questions. So is Gary Johnson, would he be as president, a step in the right direction? Definitely. Is Gary Johnson better than Trump and Clinton? Double definitely. Is Gary Johnson introducing the Libertarian Party to millions of people? Definitely many times over. So I remember back in 2007, 2008, when Ron Paul was running for president and I was campaigning for him. And I remember my mom hearing that Ron Paul wanted to abolish the Department of Education. Now she's a teacher, she's a curriculum coordinator for elementary school district. She acted as if I had joined a cult or something, right? My mom wouldn't support Ron Paul. However, fast forward to 2012, 2016, she supports Gary Johnson's education policy of giving control of curriculum to the local level versus having it mandated top down from the federal government, right? She likes him for his honesty. She likes him for his pragmatic step in the right direction solutions for education and other issues. Now, his position may not be 100% libertarian, but they move us in the liberty direction, moves the country in the libertarian direction. And there was a, a great quote I heard about stretching our comfort zone or going down a new path we've never been before or just trying something new. And the quote is this, don't let perfect be the enemy of good. So instead of pushing yourself to an impossible perfect and therefore getting nowhere, except good, getting somewhere with good is better than getting nowhere. Moderate, pragmatic, step in the right direction libertarianism is a good way for some people to ease them into the libertarian party. Now, on the other hand, principled, radical libertarianism is a good way to bring some other people into the libertarian party, right? Both ways are right for certain people. We have to remember that everyone is unique. However, what moderate and radical libertarians can agree on is that we need to move the country in a libertarian direction. We can agree that we need more liberty, not less liberty. Gary Johnson's bringing in a lot of new people on board, and with only three weeks left in this election, we need all the help we can get. But the help in this election is not just for this election. Next year, we have races 2018, 2019, and again in 2020, right? Long-term vision, short-term goals. A vote and support for Gary Johnson and other down-ballot libertarians right now is a vote and support for libertarian candidates in 2017, 2018, 2019, and 2020. So we have a choice. Either sit on the sidelines or appreciate the work that's being done and start prepping for future campaigns. Start recruiting future candidates. Start setting up your campaign for city council, county commission, or state rep, whatever, right? Use this election right now and the Johnson campaign, the three weeks we have left, as what it is and how I'm using it as the gateway drug to liberty, right? The gateway drug to the Libertarian Party and introduction to liberty. Two-term governor of New Mexico, Bill Weld, two-term governor of Massachusetts, they have the credibility. Let's go use that to grow the organization, to grow our movement. Thank you.